The warning signs are enabling a narcissist's self-obsession and keep feeding them. Dealing with a narcissist can be a challenging and draining experience, not only for their constant need for attention and validation, but also for their emotional cruelty and manipulation. Narcissists are known for their obsession with themselves and their relationships, which can have negative consequences for those around them. You may be unwittingly feeding a narcissist's obsession through constantly catering to their needs and desires. This may include constantly giving them attention, validation, or recognition. While this may seem like the right thing to do, it only serves to feed their need for constant validation and reinforces their sense of superiority. Another way in which we may feed a narcissist's obsession is by being too accommodating to their criticism or negative comments. Narcissists may use negative reinforcement as a form of punishment for those who dare to question their authority or fail to give them proper recognition. They may insult or judge others harshly as a means of boosting their own ego. This kind of behavior can have a severe impact on the sense of self-worth of those around them. In addition, narcissists frequently leave behind a legacy of unresolved grief for their victims. Narcissistic abuse survivors may feel worried and helpless as they struggle to break free from the narcissist's mental dominance. Though it may be difficult and stressful, leaving a narcissist is essential for one's mental and emotional health. It is important to remember that being in a relationship with a narcissist is never beneficial. If you suspect that you have been a victim of narcissistic abuse, seek help from loved ones or a qualified mental health professional. With the right support and tools, it is possible to recover from the experience. It is important not to dwell on the past or the narcissist. Constantly wondering what you could have done better can lead to self-criticism and blame. Negative emotions such as worry and grief can build up if you give the narcissist power over your thoughts and feelings, even when they are not present. Adapting to a new environment after leaving a narcissist can be a process. It is important to identify obstacles and eliminate them in favor of resources that will help you move forward. Keep in mind that leaving a narcissist before they leave you can have negative effects. They may be angry and resentful towards you for taking away something that brought them joy. The narcissist may try to win you back, hurt you, or walk away and come back stronger. Regardless of their actions, the narcissist will not stop thinking about you and will continue to be fixated on regaining power over you. Getting rid of a narcissist will diminish your influence because they are so preoccupied with being in charge. Narcissists, as I've noted previously, thrive on being in the driver's seat. They care about being able to decide how a breakup goes down. You're more valuable to the narcissist when you're broken and hurting. They don't care what you want or if they cause you pain. The plan is for the narcissist to quit the relationship once they realize it is in their best interest to do so. They could have been idealistic if they hadn't stolen from you and left you when you needed someone the most. If things don't go as planned, the narcissist won't absolve you of responsibility. Due to the gravity of the situation, no communication can be made at this time. If you have completely cut off all communication with a narcissist, including physically removing all of their belongings and blocking them on all social media platforms, you have reached zero contact. This will have a devastating effect on narcissists. Unless this happens, complete chaos will ensue. If the narcissist initiates contact, it's because they've accepted that you're no longer under their control. A reaction from the narcissist is to be expected. If you remain associated with the narcissist or allow the narcissist access to you, everything they do is calculated to elicit an emotional response from you. As much as they may try to put on a brave front and pretend that everything is fine, this remains the case. The narcissist's goal is to make you feel bad about yourself, whether that's sadness, anger, or anything else. Narcissists intentionally expose themselves so that we can feel bad about ourselves and suffer collateral damage. If cutting off all communication isn't an option, it's essential to develop the ability to disregard or ignore them. Therefore, when taking the no-analysis-first approach, it is essential to either refrain from any physical contact or keep an emotional distance. In the midst of the narcissist's preoccupation with themselves as a result of you, you'll find yourself in the center of attention, and you can be sure they'll use you as a measuring stick for all future supplies. If the narcissist has any thoughts about you, 
they will become agitated, upset, or even have to urinate. The narcissist will never take responsibility for their actions. Therefore, offering an explanation for why you're breaking up with them is also futile. In their minds, no one else can be trusted to hold power. That's why they want you back, to eliminate you once the moment is right. Dominance dynamics underlie this whole mess. If you want to make an impression on a narcissist, you need to be the one to discard someone first. Narcissists can't stop thinking about you, so they'll spend a lot of time dwelling on what they should have done instead. The narcissist will always think the world of you since you are flawless in his or her eyes. Never forget that being in a relationship with a narcissist is never a good idea. Seek help from loved ones or a qualified mental health professional if you think you've been the victim of narcissistic abuse. If you have the right people by your side and the proper tools at your disposal, you can recover from your experience with a narcissist. Keeping your mind on the narcissist and your past is a certain way to keep yourself stuck in a rut of negativity and inaction. Get rid of the things that are holding you back and replace them with new ones that will propel you forward. It's also important to keep in mind that narcissists have an unhealthy fixation on being in charge. If you walk away from an abusive partner before they do, they may harbour resentment and pursue you compulsively as a means of regaining power. A time of no contact may be essential to finally release yourself from the narcissist's grip. Recognising the warning signs of narcissistic abuse and taking appropriate action is crucial. Do not let the narcissist influence or control you. Instead, keep in mind that you deserve respect and kindness. Though it's not easy, you may find freedom and move on to a better life if you have the correct help and tools. I have covered all I wanted to say in today's video. I really hope that this was helpful to you. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this one to be notified when new videos are uploaded. I value your interest and time.